Right, for this demo I'm going to start with uh, four arbitrary rectangles. So I'll we'll select the rectangle tool and we'll start one up here. Oh, I'm going to turn off the snap the grid. Right, so I'll start anywhere. Click and drag a rectangle. Any size rectangle. 7.37 by 48.75. I'm working in millimeters, but uh, you should be able to do the same with fractions, of course, in inches. So that's one. We'll make another different size, maybe wider, shorter, and another and a fourth one. Oops. Well, there's four non-standard thicknesses of wood or timber, whatever you like. And we're going to put several tenons or mortises or rectangles inside here at a precise, precise position. Some will be central, others will be offset. Now in this first rectangle I'm going to put uh, another rectangle inside it but it's going to be offset to one side but by uh, an accurate amount. Now the way to do this is to select your rectangle here then place the mouse on the corner of the, the large rectangle and you see there's a, quite a large dot appears. Now just tap the shift key and we see we get some dimensions that, that are referenced to that corner point. So now we can type in accurate dimensions. Suppose we want this top left hand corner of our new rectangle two and a half millimeters from each side, the top and the side. We simply type in 2.5 that's on the x-axis, then tab to lock that one in. And then we see that this dimension needs to be negative. There's a negative sign there, see? So if we want that also 2.5, we type minus 2.5, and that finishes it by typing the return key. Now don't press any buttons on your mouse, but just drag the mouse. Now you've got another rectangle you can put in and you can type in whatever dimensions you require for that. So let's say for example uh, 6 tab which tabs it to the other dimension. You see that locks the 6 millimeters in. You can't change that now. It's 6 millimeters. So let's say we'll, we'll type in 40. 40 return. And that's locked in or a rectangle. Escape. We can put dimensions on that if we wish. Dimension up here. Select that. We can select that. See what that dimension is. Then we can go click on that one, then that one. Then we've got two and a half. We can click on that one, then that one. And we've got two and a half there. I'm not going to go, go, go up there, yes, that's right. So there we have a, an offset rectangle inside a bigger rectangle. Now I'm going to put another rectangle in the middle of this rectangle here, which is going to be precisely in the center. So in order to do that with this technique, I'll need to know the dimensions of the big rectangle. So I'm going to select the dimension tool that puts an annotation playing around the whole lot. And now I can put a dimension on the width, select the edge, click and drag on the height. 
Now again we use the rectangle tool and we hover on, on that corner momentarily press the shift key and we can reference to that top left hand corner now so I don't have to calculate anything all I need to do is type in 13.54 divided by 3 then the tab key now that's locked in that X dimension to 4.51 which is a third of 13.54. I'm assuming that the width of the tenon is, this, is a third of the width of the timber. So notice that this Y direction is, is negative, minus five point whatever. So I'm going to type in minus 4.51 which is the same distance from the left as it is from the top return key which locks in that dimension now without pressing any buttons on the mouse just drag and again we enter 4.51 tab and then again it is the height 44 0.72 which is the height of the rectangle the main rectangle and this is going to be minus twice the border so that's 2 asterisk 4.51 return so that has given us a rectangle exactly in the middle with a border of 4.51 all the way around I'll just check that. There you are, 4.51 and 0.51. Right, that's uh, that one for the middle. Now this this one, I'm going to put another rectangle exactly in the middle. But I'm not going to calculate anything. I'm just going to select the offset curve tool. Double click on any line of the rectangle which highlights the whole thing then just move inwards. So we can now type in a dimension for the shoulder distance at the moment 2.17 just type a 2 for a shoulder of 2 millimeters and that's perfectly in the middle of course we can knowing the width of the timber we could calculate that so that the tenon or mortise comes out of the dimension we require so that's that method and the final method uh, for this rectangle is to put a, another rectangle outside of it any size you want as long as it's smaller than this one we'll make it six tab 35 35 return and we'll need a construction line this line here put across from the center of one side to the center of the other we get a dotted line now one thing about design spark mechanical is that it finds the center of any line would touch so that little triangle is the center so we know that we're going to select this rectangle and the move tool we get our anchor point here select the green arrow pointing to the left and the up to tool up to there and then 
touch on the triangle and that jumps into the center laterally then go to the vertical one select that again up to and select the line and it pops up the center vertically and we can now just delete that so there it is four ways of putting a rectangle inside another rectangle either at a specific distance or exactly in the center hope you enjoyed that bye